Probably the most shocking thing was that it was like a graveyard with the walking dead. I had so many lice on them that we had to, we had to do a full body quick to get rid of all the, the parasites before we could even start treating them. The scale of it seemed enormous. I think it opened the eyes of many members of the British public who hadn't seen animal cruelty before. In 2008, Nick de Bruyere, Red Wing's Head of Welfare and Behaviour, was asked to assess almost 100 severely neglected horses and donkeys discovered living in horrific conditions in Amersham. The bodies of over 30 horses who had already died laid around them, and Nick knew the rest needed to be removed from the farm to stand a chance of survival. Today, he's catching up with Aladdin, an Amersham survivor who is training to become the schoolmaster at Red Wing's rehoming centre in Norfolk, helping other rescued horses to find loving new homes. When we got there, we immediately examined all the horses on the farm and we realised very quickly that a number of the horses were in a suffering state and needed to come away. We also worked out that the other horses that were there were all at risk of suffering if we didn't take them away. And we used the new powers under the Animal Welfare Act to actually remove the horses to protect them from suffering as well as the ones that were suffering. And once we'd made that decision that all the horses needed to come away, um, we, all the other charities and their staff and vehicles came on site and we started to examine all the horses one by one and then they were loaded into the vehicles and taken to a place of safety. <laughs> 